I want to share with you a personal confession. Actually, I was accidentally propelled into this session. I will explain it to you. When Father Fadi was still preparing for this program, he asked research representatives to give him feedback about this program. And I remember on that day, I told our research representative that it looks very interesting. And that was all. A few days later, I get an email from Father Fadi thanking me for my interest in this session and giving me the opportunity to be amongst the first to register into it. I told myself, like, really? Why me? I went to our research representative and asked him, who told these people that I was going to participate in this session? First, I don't like online sessions, and that's another confession. Secondly, this is the busiest moment in the semester. He told me, well, I gave them your email because you said this was interesting. I said, like, really? Well, fine. I told myself one way to get out of this embarrassment is to register into this session and participate in the first session, maximum make it until the second session, and then leave without being noticed, à l'anglaise, as we say. Then, I don't know what really happened. I don't know what magic wand made me stick there until the last session. I found myself freeing up my time on Wednesday afternoons, rescheduling appointments, rescheduling classes. I even did assignments. That beats everything. Well, I think there's no need to elaborate further. This is explicit enough. By the way, I'm Lubna Waidat from the Faculty of Economics. Hello everyone, my name is Lina Skandar Hawad and I hold a teaching position here at USJ. Today I'm here to tell you about my experience attending the research writing and publication course. And let me tell you, it was a life changer for me. As a non-native uh, speaker in English, it was very difficult for me usually to express myself fluently in English writing. Today after the course, I feel more confident and I have gained a lot of skills. What I appreciate most about this course is the interactive uh, activities, uh, the uh, continuous assignments that kept us engaged and striving to uh, uh, evolve and develop, develop our skills. Uh, also, it was a very good experience because I had the chance to meet a lot of my fellow uh, teachers uh, who I have uh, little uh, chance to see often. So it was a um, very enriching uh, experience. We have been uh, discussing together, we have been working in groups, we have been sharing experiences and we found what we uh, lack as a group uh, in, a, in, in a French-speaking university uh, regarding the English writing. Uh, it was, let me tell you, it was an intense program, but it wasn't all work. We had a lot of laughter. Uh, Mr. Rob gave us the opportunity and gave us a lot of uh, space to be ourselves, to be happy, to be engaging. And I would like to thank all the coordinators who helped us in this uh, program, and especially the U.S. Embassy who sponsored the program. Thank you all. As a teacher researcher and head of scientific committee at the Education Research Laboratory in Francophone Department of the Faculty of Educational Sciences, I have always been curious to explore the theories and scientific concepts specific to the Anglophone world. Furthermore, this course has enabled us to forge connections among ourselves as teachers, researchers from various disciplinary fields, and to consider avenues for collaboration, both in terms of pedagogy and interdisciplinary research projects. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to Father Dr. Fadi Shidiak, Prof. Rob, and the U.S. Embassy in Beirut for providing this opportunity during these challenging times of crisis in Lebanon. Thank you, Sonia Constanta. Hi, Dr. Rob. I would like to thank you and Dr. Shadia for this fruitful and rich experience, especially in spite of the time difference between the countries. 
while you are supposed to be rested after midnight, you have continued to give us the best of your experience. We are grateful and thank you for your dedication. My name is Christiane Herbiz and I have been a lecturer at the UAG for 16 years, but this experience was new, different and a challenge for me. Please accept our deepest gratitude. I'm Helga and I'm a chemist at the Faculty of Science. Hello, I'm Rami and I'm a mathematician at the Faculty of Science also. What an incredible workshop it was! We embarked on this exciting journey of article writing, unaware of the delightful surprises that awaited us. As we explored the vast realm of knowledge, we encountered the playful tricks of technology. Our esteemed instructor, armed with the wealth of knowledge, faced the clash between the kingdoms of Microsoft Teams and Zoom. All the marvels of modern technology. We were completely amazed at the links did not work properly and the screens kept disappearing and reappearing as if they were playing hide and seek. But that's not all. Despite all the efforts, working late into the night, particularly between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m., unexpected things can happen. Not just to Cinderella, but also to our beloved trainer, like rebaptizing ChatGPT, ChatGTP. Nonetheless, our instructor delivered sessions of exceptional quality. His knowledge and skill were truly impressive. We learned the art of crafting captivating articles and dusted off our grammar skills. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to you, Professor Rob, for all that you've done. We would also like to extend a big thank you hug to Father Fadi for orchestrating this fantastic workshop. May, May your writing endeavor be filled with, with joy, joy and, and success. success. We have been exposed to a very interesting seminar, which is about writing professional academic articles. It is not only the content that was interesting, of course, but also the approach, the approach being learning by doing. So it's not only, again, this learning by doing, but the ideas and the experience we shared with the colleagues with which we do not necessarily work during our uh, regular routine activities at the university. So that was something amazing because not only we learned about the process, about the new knowledge, but also about the team members with whom we are operating. This was thrilling because I remember a sentence that Dale Carnegie said one day, that it is only knowledge which is used that sticks to your mind. And we can definitely say that we learned a lot. This is why we would like to thank the American Embassy who was behind the idea, Professor Rob, who really gave us his very precious time, and also Father Fadi, who had tremendously well organized this uh, experience. Thank you very much.